This video is presented by Print23D. Okay, so here's a bunch of sample parts that I have printed uh, to show customers and uh, put out my photo gallery on the uh, website. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, the iPhone case. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see, it uh, protects the phone if you drop it. And also is a belt clip, so you can clip on your belt. The next up is the first version of the iPhone case, which I uh, painted silver uh, just for looks uh, to show that you can uh, paint the part. Another item that stands out is the painted part over here, which is a part of a wheel and uh, the regular part that's not painted is over here. Um, over here is a belt buckle, which is a sample part that's built right inside the machine. It's in the memory, and it's fully functional. Clips together, and you can pull it back apart. Okay, next up is another sample part that's built inside the machine. This is some kind of filter mechanism. You can see it's various post fittings and uh, the inside. It's got a couple little holes. Uh, let's see. Right in there, you can see down in there, there's a hole that goes down through this mechanism here, and there's a hole that comes out right here. A really tiny hole. Um, over here is another sample part built into the machine. It's a little jar, and uh, the cap threads onto the part. Uh, here is my famous little cup. You can see this in my rapid prototyping right before your eyes video. Over here is a shaft to a robot transmission. And uh, this is just uh, part of that. You can see that it would have printed the rest of that if I would have uh, let it finish that print. Um, next up is the famous wrench that's also a sample part that uh, Stratasys sends out, or used to send out, I should say. It says Stratasys on it there. Fully functional. But, uh, this is a little carburetor to a uh, uh, little radio control engine. Here is a piston and a sleeve as well to a radio control engine. As you can see the sleeve goes on the piston. Um, here is a mechanum wheel which uh, I showed you the rollers too before. They go all the way around the uh, perimeter of the wheel. Uh, this is a uh, part of a radio control transmitter that uh, you use to control the motion. You just put your thumb in the socket there. Uh, here's another part of radio control. It's a helicopter blade grip, which uh, the, bolt, the blade clamps on here, and uh, this controls your pitch. Here. So there's that piece. Um, this is my logo. Nothing really special about that. Uh, here's a little tiny radio control car rim.
a turkey that I printed on Thanksgiving 2007. Here's the solid versus sparse. Solid on the left, sparse is on the right. You can see the difference there. It uses much less material and uh, takes much less time to print. And by the way, uh, all these parts here are sparse. There's uh, that pattern on the inside of this ball here. That pattern is on the inside of this here. And uh, this cube is also hollow with that pattern inside. Um, these here are press fit tests that I made for my iPhone case. As you can see there, that this is a profile. As you can see, that one was a, a sloppy fit, and this one was too tight. So this one is just perfect here. Just enough that it won't fall out upside down. Over here is a defective part. His leg broke loose while I was printing because there was not enough support material to support it. And you can see there that it just started printing, go, going crazy. And, uh, that's it. Just look at my business card.